Bearded Hokage here. 60 second review. Extended review. I've been watching the series that I'm going to hopefully finish in one shot. Uh, we're going to talk about Riches. What is Riches, you say? Riches is a series on Amazon Prime Video. And in other news, Amazon Prime Video has overtaken Netflix as the number one streaming service. Amazon Prime Video was being ran by a black woman for quite some time and it's now number one and that woman just quit her position two months ago and guess what given the analytics she's the reason that shit is number one put that shit in your pipe smoke that shit we can do whatever now let's go to riches which is drum roll that motherfucker a black drama series about a wealthy family owning a black beauty line hair care line uh the president ceo has two estranged children who become controlling shareholders slash ceos of the company upon his death and his other family yes he has another family the family he's been with the longest guess what they're not happy about that shit they're they don't know nothing about them the, the other kids don't know nothing about them and you know they just have to take over now but of course the main family we'll call them main because they only lived with the father longer and have been a part of the company longer so we'll call them the main they're not the main though. they hate the other fucking two children they feel like they don't deserve shit. Oh, dad died. Here you are trying to be greedy, get some money because we rich and you not. That's where everything starts. Where this is going, man, it's going in beautiful places. Now, some people may watch this and they're going to be like, oh, this reminds me of, of Empire. Fuck those people. Here's why this show is not Empire. I'm going to kill that shit out the gate. Here's why this is not fucking Empire. Empire was about a guy who forms a record company who was incarcerated, who was a drug dealer, and his shorty was doing shit too. They like, granted, they were using their means at the moment to get to their goal. I get it. Hood ass nigga right here. I get it. But that was something that was perpetuate. That was something that stayed in this series throughout. It wasn't like, oh, I did what I had to do in the beginning, and now we're legit trying to do shit. No, man, they kept bringing up that hood shit. Kept going back to doing hood shit in the series, and it kind of pissed me off because it's like you, you, we have CEOs that come from the hood. We have billionaires that come from the hood, the projects, the drug dealing streets, and don't do that dumb shit that they was doing in Empire. Like, I respect Empire for being what it was, a black series on a major network that ran for quite some time with names like Terrence Howard, with names like Taraji P. Henson, and introduced other people to us as well. I respect it for that. The drug dealing shit, man, I'm fucking over it. Just being the fuck honest. Fucking over it. This day and age, now motherfuckers are starting brands and shit without having a fucking sell crack. So we don't need no more of that shit. Nobody sold crack in this shit. Nobody was fucking. There was it, it wasn't. Uh, there were nobody was prostituting. Nobody was selling crack. We nothing pills. Nothing. He just built a brand. Had kids. Left his family. Started another family. Became filthy rich while with the other family. Dies. Gives everything to the first kids he had. Like I said, this is where the problems are. These people are assholes. And now you'd be like, well, wouldn't you be an asshole? No, that's still your sibling, bro. Now understand this. I'm coming from a place where I can relate to some of this shit. I'm a child of motherfucking six. I don't know my other fucking siblings. I, I met them all like once. So I get shit when you like at a certain point, and you're used to a certain life and you'd be like people trying to be greedy, but these kids are spoiled, entitled pieces of shit. Like the one daughter is like, I don't know, maybe fucking 21 with the little white boyfriend who obviously he, and I could tell the nigga, the, 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 the motherfucker, 
don't give a shit about the little black chick other than she fucking got money. You can tell the white boy ain't got shit. Uh, the mother, who really I should have did first. The mother in riches is the most toxic definition of parenting ever created. This woman is toxic. Cheating on a husband, which I'm like, yo, like, matter of fact, that's all I'm going to give you with the mother that she was cheating on her husband. That's all I'm going to give you. Because to give you any more, it would be a spoiler. So I'm not. And we know this This isn't. I'm, I'm going to have to do a spoiler review of like this. And Wednesday fucking later, I still haven't done it. I'm going to get to it. But check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Stay with me. These kids ain't shit. And they mad as fuck because the kids that come in, right? The the the, ori- the first two, the original kids that he had, come in fucking knowing their business. Like the fucking daughters are like business wise, she's on top of her game. She came in like, what the fuck? Wreck, wreck, wreck. Why the fuck is this like this? Why the fuck is that like that? Why the fuck is that like that? Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck y'all doing? Like, y'all not running the company? Y'all sitting here comfortable as fuck. Like y'all fucking Warren Buffett. And y'all niggas about to be little Kim in a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I fucking love it. The mama's toxic and all, and watching her be toxic. Yo, you're like, what the fuck? The business and you're like, man, you're watching the, the people in it. And you're like, this person is suspicious. This one's suspicious because this other shit going on can't be like oh we're just running business you know it, it's stuff going on in the business there's a reason the dad gave it to the other kids and they're trying to figure out why like something was going on but you know so many words and it's still shit going on you know we're going to talk about episodes one through three i i love the first off first off first off first off i'm sorry i'm sorry Another thing that I have to give accolades to the series for, besides the not doing the whole drug dealer bullshit, and that's how they came up, or that's how he came up and started his business, it speaks on everything so far. It's speaking on black issues. It's not ignoring the fact that it's a black show with black people in the UK. The UK is the it is not a racist free country. <laughs> You're not at all. Hello, England. Hello, governor. You see that here. Motherfuckers, you black and got money. Jay-Z said it best. Either way, you a nigga. Rich nigga, poor nigga. You a nigga in a Ferrari, you still a nigga. You a nigga in a Rolls Royce, you still a nigga. So yes, they encounter shit. Despite them being filthy fucking rich, guess what? You still a nigga. And we see that shit. And that's just real shit. We've seen it all the time. We've seen it from athletes. We've seen it from everybody talking about, yo, I just got fucking pulled over. Like for no fucking reason. Because I because I, I have an Aston Martin. Or people going to stores and, and, and white patrons being like, you know, hey, can you help me with this? Like, I'm wearing my regular clothes. What makes you think I work at Foot Locker? <laughs> what makes you think I work here? You know, that, that type of shit. You know, you, you see a lot of shit in here. Uh, it's, you, you see the gamut of shit where usually we're nine times out of ten. You're going to relate to some of these instances that fucking happen. Um, I love that they, colorism is in there. Cause it's a company and when you're like a, you're a black company, you want black models, but then it, it's, it's colorism. We, people talk about colorism, everything. They don't ignore that social media exists. The power of social media, like it's smart. Episodes one through three, the shit is smart. I'm sad as six fucking episodes. Why is it only fucking six? But let's focus on the first three. We're focusing on the first three. First three. I ain't gonna lie. When my man, when they do his will and they do the dollar amounts, <laughs> you hear like the one person that gets a million 
and the other person group of people get five hundred thousand, and you're like, whoa, 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 that one, For, huh? <laughs> it's just wild. And when you you think about the entitlement of people, like when you grow up with money, and it really shows that growing up with money in a certain lifestyle, it doesn't matter what color you are, you grow up entitled and separated from a lot of society. You you think your shit don't stink. You know, when somebody else is kind of like doing a lot of shit for you, you, you think you're this and you're not. And other people have to bring you down and let you not bring you down, but but even you out so that you understand, hey, bro. You've been living this life because of that person. Outside of those walls, it's a different fucking playground out here in the business world. Like your 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 seat has been padded, my guy. I I love that. Nepotism. We can talk about nepotism. Let's talk about nepotism. Not enough nepotism in the black community when it comes to businesses, as we see it in every other culture, but not enough in ours. So I love that this has it in there, and I also love how it's spoken to, like, hey. This even the the male female bias of business is in this series. How could you not love it? No, there's white people in this. Oh, do you, it, hey, there's people. It's fucking sad to say that there are people that will not watch shows that don't have white people in it. There are people that won't go in gas stations that aren't run by white people. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna touch on that. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, um, there are white people in the series. There are other races in the series. Just in case you're one of those people, oh, there's no white people in there. There's white people in it. But it's a black show about a black family. Okay. Can you relate to this show and not look like my black ass or the black asses on the show? Yes. Because there's shows like Billions and su- uh, was it? Succession or Success, whatever the fucking show is called. We have these shows on these other networks that are the same thing. They're like multi-billionaire families, multi-billionaire people, CEOs running shit, doing whatever, whatever. And I watched the, the journal Showtime uh, frequently. So to get this, I'm going to be honest. I'm more amped about this than I am about the other one. It's cool watching, you know, that whole thing. But man, it's different when they look like you. And man, I got to say something. These people are so fucking gorgeous. When I see the, and and, and I got to mention that these they're African. Their origins are African. And I love it. They're so beautiful. The mother may be toxic, but that is a fucking brown skin queen. The daughters, the sons, these are handsome brown skin gentlemen. Beautiful brown skin queens. Deep fucking brown. Fucking love it. Fucking beautiful, gorgeous people. Beautiful black people in this show. Man. So far, they've touched on a lot. Uh, there, there's stuff in there. This ain't a one trick pony in this series. It's not, oh, the father died. They're going to just have beef in between them with a bunch of bullshit. That's going to be the first season. No, no. First season, it's like, what, three? Well, currently from episode three, there's like three other fucking things going on. Like something happens in one episode that we're going through trying to figure this shit out. You know, what? who's who's that person? Who's Who's this? There's trouble here. Who's going to solve it all the time? The toxic, uh, rich family. Is that you're trying to kick out the others who are actually doing the job of running the fucking company. And it's like how stupid and fucking greedy can a motherfucker be and feel entitled? Yo, the show is going to get you like emotionally It's going to piss you off. 
I'm gonna be honest. The mother does real toxic shit to her daughters. It's gonna make you mad. The the other, uh, I love the female empowerment or, or female CEO. I love this. Like, look, she's like, look, I'm kind of horny right now. She gets on the phone, bop, 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 tender, tender, POF, whatever. But I, you can tell it's tender. You know, hey, what you doing right now? Come through. I'm trying to give you this pussy. <laughs> That's not what she said, but I just, it, it's a joke between me, me and my homie, me and my homegirl. And yo, just like, hey, I needed a release. I had a hard day. Thank you so much. Get the fuck out of my bed. In, 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 you know, in, in my own way of saying it. But, you know, that, the sexual empowerment that they're displaying, it's not even empowerment. It's more just, it's, it's, it's not empowerment. It's showing it the same way men do it. But it needs to be shown. Because they show men just kind of like, eh, I needed to get off and go to sleep. Rough day. Called a chick. She got me off. I sent her home in an Uber. And I went the fuck to sleep. You get that here. From a female's directive and power. And I like that. That's real shit. This is probably one of the most progressive series I've seen. This year. And the year's about to it fucking it's, it's over. There's not a more progressive series than this. It covers so much shit. Like, you know, having the power of social media and like uh, this. You know, um I don't know. I still don't trust some of these characters. Like you're gonna watch this and be like, man, I'm not I'm not trust I don't trust that one. 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 <laughs> On God, you're gonna be like, man, I don't trust that one. Because you're like, there's shit going on. And I obviously, this is spoiler free, but it's like every episode is some new shit that's discovered, which is great because you're not stuck in just, <clears throat> well, we're just waiting for somebody to be like, hey, we found out what happened to the guy who might have done this to the company. And that's like our entire plot the whole season. No, it's every episode so far is some new shit. Cause she's like doing the business. So she's going through company shit and she's finding shit out and she's finding shit out. And then there's of course the family and they're bringing other bullshit. So you're watching shit from the family's perspective. Fuck. What are they up to? Then you're watching shit from her perspective. Like, damn, she just discovered some more bullshit. How's she going to handle that? How's it going to affect the company? Every episode. And you got to understand that's hard to do. With shows coming up and with a series, you can have one main plot and that's your plot in an entire fucking series. Unless you introduce other shit in this eight, six, twelve episode run, man, it can be boring. Like you have to. This is not boring. If you heard my voice while I talked about this shit, you hear how much i enjoy this series i'm not done this is just I'm, I'm on three well i'm on episode four but this is about one two and three and and i love that um i love also you get the message so far of um there's also the message about how we can be our own worst enemy because man, <laughs> the in episode three, there's a good example of how we can be our own worst enemies. And by I mean we, not just black people in general. Families can be their own people. People, people can be their worst enemy. You get in the way of your own shit and success when you want to sit there and you're building a business and like you let other dumb shit happen publicly. Oh my god. This is a good series. If you liked Empire, which Empire was cool. I stopped watching maybe after like season four. Empire was good. Like I said, not knocking it, just the drug dealing shit and always drama, always guns, always like, <sighs> fuck. That, that, I got tired. This is better. This is like, take success 
or succession, whatever that, that of the show is. No, I'm not going to take the time to look it up because I'm fucking not. In billions that are on other networks. I think one's on Showtime. I think one's on Cinemax, maybe. Or what? Yeah, I think one's on, H, one's on Showtime, one's on Cinemax, I think. Um, and then you take this. You have to add that. You have to add this to that list. This is in that group. It deserves to be in that fucking group. And at the same time, it's a standalone thing. And the funny thing is, because I've watched Billions, and I'm watching this, man, the difference. It's different. Even from when people are interviewing, you know, the CEO, CFO, whatever, whatever. It's different. And they're not afraid to say the shit. They're not afraid to speak on shit going on in the UK and black culture and, and hair and beauty. Hell, even some things in business, because to be honest, one of the things they did that happened, I'm going to be like, I'm pretty sure that's happened several times because Lord knows we'd be sitting there like, oh, every two weeks we get a new recall of some kind, a new warning. Oh, there's something in your bag of vegetables from so-and-so. They were calling this chicken from so-and-so. They were calling these cars because of this. Why? How? You see shit like that in here. This is a series worth watching. Um, some people are going to be coming on coming up on Christmas break soon, and this is worth watching. Especially if, you, if you're a high school, you're a black high schooler, in the fucking beauty. You're in the beauty. You're in the money. You're trying to get your entrepreneurship on. You're trying to whatever, whatever. Man, you don't motherfucking watch this show. Stop fucking playing. Um, crap. I just remembered my son's going to be out of school. Because of the election. I just remembered that. Ah, you'll be fine. Plenty of stuff in the fridge. I gotta go to the grocery store tonight. Yeah. Weird thing to add to my podcast. Hey, it popped in my head now. I'm a parent also. Sorry. Interrupt <laughs> my review, but that popped in my head. I'm a parent full time this year, so excuse me. Um, just remember I gotta go to the grocery store. So this show is fucking worth watching. I'm enjoying everything about this show. I absolutely plan to finish this show in one fucking day. Understand that. You binge this motherfucker. This is episodes one through three. So, so far, we're good to fucking go. Unless they fumble the ball in episode six, which the next podcast you get about this series is going to be the culmination of everything. So, there's going to be a different energy there. I just don't want them to fumble the ball. And I really have to do a spoiler review for this in Wednesday. But since we're talking about money, because you know what? I, I, I leave these podcast episodes with something different, something else every time that's unrelated. But before I do that, let me reiterate. This is called Riches. It's on Amazon Prime Video, who just overtook Netflix as the number one streaming service. Go watch this shit right now and stop playing with me. I don't care if you watch one episode a day for the rest of this week. Go fucking watch this. Get this show fucking love now. Good is an understatement. I should have been watching this shit Sunday. Ugh. But speaking about money and entrepreneurship, whatever you love, can turn into money for you. I, I do this. Am I making a shit? Or am I making money to where I'm not working for somebody else? No, I'm not. But this is my first year where I'm really going hard at this and really putting my everything into this. And that's the thing. You have to put your everything. We all got to fucking, well, we all don't have to work. Most of us have to fucking work a regular job. You don't have the time. You're giving eight hours to your work. You're giving 10 hours to your work. Let's be honest. It's me. I'm giving 10 hours. I work 10 hour shifts. Okay. You can't give yourself some, some, some two, four hours to get your own stuff done. And I know sometimes I'm going to feel like, man, I'm barely getting anything done. Hey, this is my off day. And guess what I'm doing? I'm, I'm doing my other work. This is my other work. 
You have to make the time. Because if you believe you have job security, working whatever fucking job you got, I don't give a fuck how cool your boss is. I don't give a fuck if they're a Fortune 500, Fortune 250. I don't give a fuck how long your company has been it existed. That shit could have existed for 110 years. I don't care. Radio Shack existed before I was born. Guess what? It don't. Not no more. How many companies again you think about that you've seen just don't no longer exist? Stores that have closed down. Brands that you grew up with. There is no such thing as security in a job if you don't run that fucking company. And the best company for you to run is the one you fucking build yourself. You are the brand. You ain't got to be fucking having skyscraper towers. People are fucking multimillionaires with fucking little offices and plazas and off here and a warehouse there. And they start off doing like shit ton of packages in their garage and their bedrooms. Like do whatever you have to do to get your thing started, but put everything into it. And another thing, nine times out of 10, you're going to have to fucking sacrifice something or you're going to have to sacrifice time. Absolutely. It's going to be time. You will have to get up early. I was getting up at four o'clock. Until I switched to this job. Now I get up at fucking three o'clock. Yeah, I got to get up even earlier just to get some stuff done. You're going to sacrifice things. People hate. There's people that hated how I said, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I have to do this. I have to do this. Me doing what I'm doing isn't 100% about me. It's also about my kids having something because if I build something that means that's something they can inherit themselves so they have a different level of security everybody's not going to understand that your friends may not understand that your girlfriend may not understand that your boyfriend might not understand that your wife yeah I hope your fucking wife understands it you married her your husband I hope they understand it because you married them but sometimes that sacrifice is what it is Stay steadfast in your goals for your company, for your dreams. Stay steadfast in that. Don't let no bullshit get in your way and take that from you. Don't get distracted once you set that goal. I know. I started this years ago. And I fucking got distracted. I will never fucking get distracted again from my goals. And I made that fucking promise to myself. I don't care what the fuck comes up. Because I know the reason I'm doing it isn't just for me. I know the only job security is having your own. Stay steadfast. And watch Riches on Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> Bearded Hokage. I'm going to catch you later.